Hi guys, today we're going to look at uh, TRD high performance engine oil filter for the Toyota RAV4. Uh, we are planning to use this kind of filter during our next oil change and we actually got a bunch of the TRD ones for our future oil changes. And for today's video we will actually cut one open to show you how it looks on the inside and besides that we will compare it to the regular OEM RAV4 filter from Denso. I will show you the part numbers for the oil filters. The TRD is PTR43-33010 and our Densa oil filter is 90915-YZZF2. Uh, both of these will fit Toyota RAV4. As for the price, the TRD is more expensive, but you can still find them pretty cheap online nowadays for around 10 bucks. Uh, Denso uh, filters go as cheap as $5. As for how long these last, if you use synthetic oil, uh, the Denso will last up to 10,000 miles or one year. Uh, I couldn't find exact uh, specifications for the TRD filter from Toyota itself. However, uh, based on other information that I found online uh, and materials that the filter is made of, it should last for 15,000 miles or one year. Uh, therefore, if you drive a lot, TRD is definitely a better option. Let's take a look at the filters. First thing that I like about the TRD is that it has this nut on the top here. You can use the uh, 25 mm socket to remove the filter in case if it has been over tightened during the installation. Uh, this does happen and can become a real problem, so having this nut is an excellent addition to the oil filter. And if you have the nut, you won't need to use the oil filter wrench. Uh, the inlet holes are slightly larger on the TRD. I'm talking about these holes right here, than on the OEM one. Uh, what I like about the Denso filter is that it comes uh, sealed with film. Uh, this means that no debris can get inside during the transportation. Another good thing is uh, that it comes pre-lubricated. There, there is lubricant underneath this film, which is a nice touch as well. But of course, it won't take uh, much time to lubricate the TRD filter either. You need to get some fresh oil uh, and put it on top of this gasket when you install the new filter. Uh, this way you will ensure good seal and the rubber won't be damaged during the installation. Other than that, uh, they're pretty similar in size. Now we'll cut open both of them and see what comes inside. Alright, so we have both our filters cut and I'll show you guys what comes inside. Uh, well, first of all, I'll actually quickly show you how the oil uh, gets filtered in the first place. So what happens is engine oil goes through these inlet holes inside uh, the filter housing, gets right here, then it gets pushed through this filtering material, goes inside and clean oil comes out this way. The biggest difference that you will notice immediately is that these two are using different material, uh, filtering material or media as it's also called, uh, to clean the oil. Uh, Denso oil filter is using paper-based material, uh, which is not as good as uh, synthetic in terms of filtering small particles and it degrades sooner. In case of our TRD filter, we have 100% synthetic glass uh, polyester blend material, which is 98% uh, efficient and at 20 microns. Uh, that's smaller than pollen. Synthetic media allows to trap uh, small contaminants over a longer period of time and this is mainly where you get the 15,000 miles or more from. Uh, this oil filter is designed to last longer and in general it traps more uh, contaminants. The other difference that these two have is that uh, TRD has uh, metallic end caps when uh, OEM does not have any. Instead, it's been held by this uh, resin that uh, holds the filtering material in place. 
and I will tell you why this is important. Uh, as you can see in our TRD filter, the pressure relief valve, uh, what this does is it uh, allows the oil, uh, if the pressure is high enough, it bypasses the filtering material and goes through this hole uh, directly. So uh, in this case it's built in into this metallic end cap and uh, the reason why this is important is because as you can see in our uh, OEM filter the pressure relief valve is actually built in into this spring which uh, TRD also have. Uh, this thing just holds everything together in place when uh, we have this we, we have this cover on so it holds us all together. So in this case we still have the pressure relief valve as well uh, and it works pretty much the same way but the problem in this design is that uh, there is no seal there is no seal right here where this metal meets this uh, metal inside uh, the filter so what happens is uh, when we put it all together there still will be a small gap which will allow the oil uh, the co contaminated oil to go through the filter even though it's small it's some oil will still get through in comparison in, uh, with this kind of design it's all completely sealed because of the end caps so you may ask why we have this glue here I don't know why it's uh, should probably shouldn't be there but on the uh, like filtering material itself but the goal of the of this glue as you can see we have glue all around the filtering material which seals the end caps and the material on this side and uh, on this side as well so this is just a sloppy job by whoever was assembling the filter it shouldn't be there but this is how it works and uh, for specifically for this reason it allows to fully seal end caps with the filtering material and the oil only can go through the material thus cleaning the uh, engine oil better another thing that we want to show you is that uh, on the bottom each uh, filter has silicone anti-drain back valves uh, what these do is they allow filters to retain oil when you turn off the engine to prevent dry starts uh, so both of them are silicone they're high quality materials so uh, this is how it looks the OEM is smaller, the TRD is slightly larger, but that's mainly due to the design of the inlet holes. Uh, other than that, they work in a very similar way. Oil gets through the holes, past this material, and uh, they go, oil goes towards the filtering material, and as you can see, it has uh, no way to go uh, in terms of going back. In the conclusion, I would like to say that the OEM uh, denser filter will still work fine in Euro 4, especially if you follow uh, the maintenance schedule. But if you drive a lot and want to have maximum protection for your vehicle and maximum longevity for your engine, I would definitely consider the TRD filter or any other uh, high quality filter that has uh, fully synthetic media as the filtering material. So even though, and we were surprised to see some glue here on the TRD one, even though it has some glue, it still has a better design and uh, it cleans uh, your oil better. Uh, that's it for our comparison, thank you guys for watching, I hope this information will help you choose uh, the right oil filter for your Toyota RAV4. Please consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.